Everybody's heard of Cub Camper Trailers. They've been building hard floor canvas tent campers for more than 50 years. But if you've never heard of a Cub Caravan before, that's because they've never made one until now. Cub has launched its first ever full-size premium off-road caravan, the Cub C16. Let's see what it's all about. Being a hard wall full-size caravan is not the only first for the Cub C16. It's also the first time a Cub has been priced so high. At about $130,000, the C16 is more than twice the cost of any other new Cub camper. However, the premium off the grid caravan market is populated by similar size rivals like the Pioneer Verve that are also well into six figures. The Cub C16 has a relatively compact composite body with fiberglass roof panel that offers a body length of 4.8 metres or 16 feet in the old money. With its fixed roof, you won't be able to squeeze into as many bushy campsites as a Cub camper trailer though given that it's a touch more than 2.2 metres wide and almost 3 metres tall. However, the C16 van is designed for hardcore bush travel, with its Cub-built galvanised chassis and Alco Enduro X independent suspension. Up at the pointy end is an Alco off-road coupling, or optional Cruisemaster DO35. The 17-inch alloy wheels are shod with tough mud terrain tyres, while brakes are 12 inch electric. The Cub Caravan is also designed for extended remote off-grid camping with four rooftop solar panels that feed into a couple of lithium batteries and a diesel heater to keep you warm on those cold outback nights. There are also two fresh water tanks slung underneath, joined by a tank for grey water. This caravan has enough external features to make the most of any fine weather, including a stainless steel pull-out kitchen with a three burner gas cooktop, a sink with a mixer tap, and some bench space for food prep. A slide out next to the kitchen has a stainless steel pantry and enough space so you can fit a large portable fridge. The C16 also has plenty of storage with external access, including a large front boot, a tunnel boot, and two lockers on the offside while a diesel tank, twin gas bottles and two jerry holders are housed under a protective cover on the A-frame. Capping off the exterior is a 4.5 metre rollout awning and LED lighting mounted on three sides of the caravan. Step inside and there's just about everything you'd expect from a luxury compact home away from home. That includes a north-south king size bed at the front, a centre dinette and rear internal kitchen and bathroom. A standout feature is the four large side windows, which allow plenty of natural light in. The bathroom in the right rear corner includes a cassette toilet, shower and sink, while next to it along the rear wall is a small kitchen with a sink, microwave and fridge, if you prefer cooking inside. Given the cub's relatively compact shape, there's no surprise to discover that internal storage options are at a premium. However, we do like the underbed storage and the large slide-out drawer under it. There are also a few pockets and storage nooks for all your knickknacks. Then there's also a high mount locker, slide-out pantry and some useful drawers in the kitchen area. Adding to the modern caravan feel is a rooftop air conditioner, while the electrics are supervised by a Red Arc Red Vision system. With an unloaded weight of 2 tonnes, a ball weight of 140 kilos, and 700 kilos of payload, the Cub C16 should be light enough for easy towing by most larger four-wheel drive wagons and utes. And with heaps of ground clearance, bump absorbing trailing arm suspension and chunky off-road tyres, it should make light work of outback touring. It all looks solidly pieced together, although we can't tell you yet how well sealed it is against outback dust. So that's the all new Cub C16. Nothing really groundbreaking from one of Australia's oldest RV manufacturers, but if you're after a homegrown, solidly built and relatively luxurious outback caravan, this one would seem to tick most of the boxes.